It's time to write a poem! Big words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever you likes your poem the most. That's vague. Right, poem time! Let us save. And yeah, this is a poem mini game. Ah, that's odd. Where's Monica? Can I not go for Monica? Ah, that's odd. Right. I I guess we just pick... Oh, yeah. Let's pick a word that one of these three characters may like. One of these, yeah. So, yeah, we got um, a tone boop. Well, obviously, I have to go to the boop. That's not tricky, apparently. Um, a rain cloud? Sayori. Um, hmm. Variance. That's Yuri. Um, hmm. Marriage. No comment there. Anime. Swim shoot. Doki Doki. Dazzle. Bouncy. Love. Tragedy. Sayori? Okay. Uh, lucky. Question. Lazy. Uncanny. Pure. Uh, family. Fantasy. Aura. Raindrops. I don't know what I just chose. Hi again, Larry. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thank you for keeping your promise, Larry. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Make yourself dive headwards into the show when you're not a couch to it. Burp. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. Don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in her club room. M -m 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 Natsuki finds her stuck saying between uh, stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki blows back into her seat. Don't worry guys, Larry always gives gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning up my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is mess so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Larry have can become two friends too. Uh, um, so Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, you're in you something today, you know. Well, wait, Sayori. Huh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? And never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Ooh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I will make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her back and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that off for God's sake. 
that I thought my, you might enjoy. I seriously need to start get my finger off the uh, right click. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, if you, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want that. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she th thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. And I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect that Monica could ki kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a che che cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried into a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to oc occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of, some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right, right now. I close my eyes and end up listening, listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really late compared to the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm? That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if you come up with the most fun thing ever, no one will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear it deliberating like this. Ah, huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Well, what kind? Ah, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That what? That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes picked my credit tummy. Yeah. Cupcake it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sarah is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sarah can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would like to see her, the world through her through her eyes. Ah! I open up my eyes to find Sarah's uh, filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Eh, <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't a napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the, in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that out loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for the better of You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? No, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's it's it's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of doubt. 
I can't even do that. Look, Sayor, it's written all over you. Hmm? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You are clearly in a rust this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh, I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than, th than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want you to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button a blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Ah. I... I guess. Hey, be careful. The bottom might come off. Why is this so one hard to... So hard to close. I struggle to fu fully close the buttons near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetization, here I come. It means my boobs got bigger, bigger again. D don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah. Why do, does it feel like... Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer button up like that? But it's so stuffy. Ooh, it's not worried at all. Sayori hastily unbutters her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. If I keep, keep it unbuttoned, then I will get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it buttoned. Stop saying <laughs> Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it, it's impossible to tell you. It's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we say the poems we wrote now? Yay! Larry, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sarah still trots away to read it, or retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I really never done this before. Well, now, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori st 
Sayer is on a wrecked seal loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. <clears throat> on the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a comp composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I, where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. 